mundo. Vivia do Venus Omo. Vivia do Nimiagio. Vaya la mogu, bebenere kai. Enive, aye miomo, ye do, omo ye ye. Okay, my good people at all, um, eh, I'm here to do my Sunday service. Everybody don't work hard, everybody they go to their Sunday service, no more. I'm here to do my Sunday service. Um, first, I want to talk about our root, our tradition, our culture, the beauty in Africa tradition. Hmm. For those out there still wondering, they'll be like, this young girl, what's it called concern you concern these things? You're not supposed to be like this. You're not supposed to be dressed like this. You're not supposed to act like this. Who else will I be? We are calipers, of course. We are gods and goddesses amongst men. And we have to express ourselves. We have to represent ourselves. The way the world actually sees us. The world sees us like that. That's why they are trying to oppress us. Most of this oppression we see out there is born out of envy. Out of envy from the richness in our culture. Out of envy from the richness in our skin. Out of envy from the richness in, in the natural gifts that we've been given. The vegetation, the culture, the music, everything. And yet a lot are still brainwashed. Some people still believe, ah, okay. Uh, my brother, good morning. Some people still believe they have to do one or two things to reach God, to get to know, I want to know God. You are the God. The people around you are the God you see. God is manifested in everything around you, in the mountains, in the rivers, everything. So now my question for a lot of people, when they be like, ah, are you not a child of God? I'll be like, who is a child of devil? It depends on your own definition of God. Do you know God? I am God. I'm, I'm a goddess. It depends on your own definition. How do you understand it? How do you understand God? A lot of people are stuck in, how do I put it? Karmic. They, 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 they've come back to pay their karmic debt. They've been here before. They are back again. And they still do not know why they are here. They are still very, very stagnant. They still do not know the reason why they are here. They still allow themselves, my, my, my lovely Africans, they still allow themselves to be brainwashed by an alien system. They will tell them, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're not supposed to do. The best thing I can ever tell you is pay attention to your dream. You will know yourself. Pay attention to your dream. Pay attention to your waking life. Try and understand yourself. Try and understand and find out the reason why you're here. Don't just do things because people tell you this is how it's supposed to be done. Focus on you. The best teacher you can get for yourself is you. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to yourself. You are not just you. This flesh you see is not just you. You have a spirit, you have a soul. If you give yourself attention, everything will wake up and the message will be clear to you. You don't need anybody to tell you this is what you need to do. Uh, a lot of people say, "Go, we have to go back to our roots. Yes, we do have to go back to our roots. But we are not preachers. We are not pastors. We are not prophets. I don't have to read one book to you and tell you, okay, this is the manual you need to do to, to, to be able to go back to your roots. I don't have to do that. I will drop my, my contact for you. Mr. Destiny, I will drop my contact for you. I don't have to do that. That time is past. 
All you have to do is pay attention to your dreams. If you begin to forget your dream, then you know it's a problem. Dreams are messages from beyond. What is your dream telling you? What is your dream telling you? If you are forgetting you, if you are the type that forgets your dream, how do I go about it so that I can remember? I can tell myself, okay, this is what I actually saw. This is what it meant. Because we all have the ability to dream. We all do. That's like our number one teacher. I'm not here to tell you, okay, you will key go to you key file, you will do this, and everything will be wet. No. We have to start from somewhere. Our people have been brainwashed too much that they have the the they have the problem of trusting people. Trust has now become a problem for Africans. I don't want you to trust me. I want you to trust you. Trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Trust your dreams. Understand the meanings behind every dream. Document them. Write them down. Oh, I saw this yesterday. I don't actually know what it means. Okay, I write it down. Tomorrow I see something. I don't know what it means. I write it down. Dreams are like scripts. Eventually, they begin to add up. When you begin to document and document and you go back to what you've written down. Oh, the one I saw, August 3rd, um, it's like it continued from here. It's like it's related, kind of. Because you documented it, it remains, the all memories remains fresh. And you begin to understand, okay, this is what I'm saying. This is what is directing me to. This is what is leading me to. Don't just sit there and wait for somebody to just tell you, okay, this is how you go about it. No, at times you have to do the work for yourself. You have to do the work for yourself. Search deep within. What have you done to help yourself? Oh, I'm tired. I don't know how to go about it. This life is so unfair. Life is not fair. Life is not a bed of roses. And anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. I don't know how to go about it. This one is this. That one is that. Do not complain. Do not complain. Focus on your dreams. Pay attention to yourself. Then you will understand. Your inner teacher will come up. Uninstall all those memories they've given you before. Those ones they told you, okay, this is how to go about it. Come with an open mind. Open your heart. Uninstall every information they've given you before. Then focus on you, the inner you. You will find your path. It's all about finding your path. What is your path? What is your path in this life? What is your mission? Because life can never be fulfilled without an accomplished mission. Some people have come four or five times to this life and they don't even know they have. Repeating the same mistakes. Being stuck in this room. Repeating the same mistakes that they've made in their previous life. Because they do not know why they are even here. It's time to start knowing. It's time to start knowing. Stop believing and start knowing. Knowledge, they say, is power. Know for yourself. Do not believe. Just know. It's time to start knowing. You come up to them and you say, okay, eh, they said I should do it this way. And you meet another person, the person will still tell you, okay, it's not this way, it's another way. How do you get about it when your life is not just straight? You, you're not following one, you're just, everything is zigzag. Because you do not know yourself, you've not focused your attention on yourself to know, okay, this is how I need to do. This is what I need to do next. This is what my inner teacher is telling me. 
when you begin to get dreams and messages and you do not understand that is when you can go further and say okay please let me look at this thing this is what i actually saw i do not understand it how do i go about it you can ask questions then you can be put through then but first the work is on you on your shoulder we all need to learn to work on ourselves a lot of things that Africans are going through these days did not happen in the days of our forefathers. Be it as it may, be it when uh, people would just say, okay, they, are, they were not civilized, they were this. Are we civilized? Is this what we call civilization? A society full of corruption and decadence, is this what we call civilization? A society devoid of a, of, of a sound conscience. A society where 90% of the people, their conscience is already soiled. Is this what we call civilization? We need to understand that we've missed our track. We have missed it. It's all a matter of knowing where we left our path, where we missed our track. One person know where for miss road, they go know how to retrace the steps. Okay, I don't lost for road. I need to go back. Because the more you they miss your track, the more the more karmic load you they you they create for yourself. The more karmic load you they heap on top of your head. I don't want to say I weep for this generation, but what do I have to say? The pain we're going through. We're complaining every day. We are we are wallowing in pain and despair. When the only the just just little thing that you need to do to make everything all right for you, you don't want to do it. You will cry and cry and call God. Oh God, why me? Oh God, why is this thing happening to me? Oh God, have you paid attention to yourself and forget about what every other person is telling you? You don't actually focus on yourself and say, okay, may I understand why this thing they really they happen to me? May I understand what I actually do? Which one come in me? Because trust, believe it or not, in everything that happens in your life, you have a hand. You must play a role one way or the other. One way or the other, you they play a role for them. So the act of okay, you can say, eh, I don't understand though why this thing they happen to me is good for this one, it's not good for me. What have you actually done to help yourself better your situation? What have you done to help yourself fix it? You're waiting for Mr. Jude to fix it, Mr. James to fix it. Oh, they said he can do it, though. He has been doing it for people. He will do it for me. Nobody, it's not magic. It is not rocket science. We need to start thinking for ourselves. We should know where we missed it. We need to start thinking for ourselves. We need to deprogram our mind. Open your heart. Deprogram your mind. Try and focus and say, okay, now I'm ready to learn the truth about myself. Who am I? See beyond your flesh. Who am I? Who, who be who be Ayemiomo? Who be James? Who be John? Who be Osase? Ask yourself. Don't wait for anybody to tell you, okay, this is who you are, this is what... And once in a while, okay, fine, do divination and all that. It's okay, it's good. It's good to know. But then, you still have a role to play. I see a lot of people, they'll come and they say, okay, want to do divination and that. And they'll begin to pester you. Oh, why have you not done it? Oh, what are you doing for yourself? You want to depend on somebody to do everything for you without playing the vital, the most vital role in all. No matter what anybody promise, promises you, it's paying attention to yourself. A good teacher, a good soul teacher will tell you, 
pay at, in as much as him. Say, so, okay, I will help you. I will guide you. He's a guide. All they do is guide you. But you have a role to play. You have a role to play. We need to go back to our roots. We've missed it. We have missed it. We have missed it. We need to go back to our roots. We need to understand where we missed the track. We need to come back. That's the only thing that will make our life better. We'll begin to, oh, we are civilized now. Eh, we don't be civilized. See this up our day, Africa. And we are civilized. Hunger, starvation, famine, pestilence, lack of amenities. And we are civilized. Those that were not civilized, they had everything in abundance. Even the poor among them was not lacking. But we are civilized. And we don't want to point, we don't want to look at it and say, okay, this is where we went wrong. What is the difference between us and our forefathers? Just the ability to think for themselves. That is something we don't have in this generation. The ability to think for yourself. Without depending on, okay, this is what this one told me, this is what this, The ability to think for, me, for yourself, open your mind, deprogram whatever has been programmed in there. Focus. Know yourself. Um, this is the short message. I, I don't want it to be too long, though. But uh, I just want everyone to know, uh, this is... The message I bring to you, a message of peace and a message of love. But please, please, we all need to deprogram our mind and keep an open heart. Keep an open heart. Understand your dream. Follow up. Follow it up. Document it. Get a pen and a paper. Jot it down. Okay, this is what I saw yesterday. Jot it down. Once in a while, go back, read through. Then you begin to understand, okay, this is why it's like this. This is why it's like that. Then you know how to put things together for yourself. To make things better for yourself. Okay. That is all I have to say for now. And um, I want to sing a little song. If I never sing this, I never complete. Hmm. I never sing this one, you never complete. Hmm. Ego yi gbi ki mi o o isa odio. Ego yi gbi ki mi o o isa odio. Ego yi gbi ki mi o o isa odio. Ego yi gbi ki mi o o isa odio. Ego yi gbi ki mi o.
Bye-bye for now. Have a nice day.